Hey everyone, what's going on? My name is Tristan Tez. Hope you all are having a wonderful, fantastic day. Thank you guys so much for tuning back into the channel for a brand new Call of Duty Modern Warfare video. And in today's video, guys, what we're going to be talking about is a lot of the brand new DLC leaks that are coming out as of right now for Call of Duty Modern Warfare. You know, I know I talked in a recent video about, you know, some of the you know brand new, you know, DLC maps that be, could be coming but as well guys a ton of other things have recently been leaked for the pc files and i wanted to kind of talk to you guys as well as you know discuss everything when it comes down to it so before we get into it guys if you could please do a like on the video as well as subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new that'd be incredibly freaking awesome thank you guys so much again for all the support you guys have been showing on the channel as of very recently and with that being said, guys, let's get into today's video. So the first thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is something that came out literally the other day. Now, I'm not going to be showing anything on screen, guys. There's going to be a Charlie Intel article down in the description below that kind of just shows everything, you know, from the PC files. And this is actually courtesy of a guy on Twitter known as That One Mining Guy who actually went into the PC files of Modern Warfare and data mined a whole ton of crazy things. You know, he uncovered a variety of emblems, calling cards, cosmetic variants, calling cards, and so much more. When we're talking about the operator skins, we're talking about practically hundreds of operator skins. You know, we're talking about just dozens of stickers at the end of the day. When it comes to the blueprints, we're talking massive amounts, like... There's definitely, you know, looking at it on my screen, there's definitely at least a solid hundred blueprints that are being made as well as, you know, a, a lot of different, you know, calling cards at the end of the day. At least a hundred calling cards, which is kind of crazy when you guys kind of think about it. I have to definitely say that I love what Infinity Ward is doing. They're making this game very customizable, very nice, and they're definitely bringing a lot of things straight out of the gate. Keep in mind, guys, that literally this game came out on the 25th, and we're already seeing some of just crazy things right off the bat. Again, we also got, you know, maps leaked to us, which is kind of awesome. I do want to touch on that a little bit, guys, because I ended up actually giving you guys not some of the maps that were told at the time and then also guys we found out that there are possibly 23 new game modes inside of call of duty modern warfare now again there's you know i'm not gonna you know show you guys any of the images and everything that will also be in the description down below but essentially there's a set amount of modes i believe it's 23 new game modes that would be coming in the future we have showdown onslaught incursion Arms Race with Arms Race Hardcore, which is kind of awesome. And then we also have Breach and Fire Team. Now, I have to say that these are definitely going to be really awesome, you know, when it comes down to it, guys. As well as, we also have another set of game modes that actually have descriptions for them. Then we have Juggernaut, which each team has a Juggernaut. And Juggernaut kills are worth more points than regular kills. Then there's Reinforce, which I believe is kind of from, you know, past Call of Duties maybe. You know, and that's Capture Points to Revive Fallen Teammates. We have Rupture, which is taking control of a power ju uh, powerful Juggernaut and push into the, you know, enemy's base. I would say that is definitely kind of like Safeguard from BO3 and BO4. Then we have One in the Chamber. We have inv uh, Invasion, which is essentially like CTF. We have Infected coming back, which is awesome. We have high value target, gun game coming back. We have grind, which is essentially recovering dog tags and taking them to the objective marker. So that is going to probably be like stockpile was in Black Ops 4. Then we have drop zone, which is awesome. I remember playing drop zone back in Ghost and everything, and I loved it. Then we have demolition, which is awesome. We have assault, which is just attackers attacking bomb sites. We have fire mission, CTF, search and rescue. And then all or nothing, which is essentially is like one in the chamber because you spawn with a custom pistol, throwing knives, and no starting ammo. So that is definitely really kind of interesting and awesome at the end of the day. I have to say that 
those game modes are just going to be crazy. I cannot wait to see kind of what happens when it comes down to it. Now, like I said, guys, there are some maps that I do also want to touch on when it comes down to it. And, you know, those maps are actually for Gunfight. We have four that are kind of actually, or four or five that are actually kind of announced at the moment. And again, you know, all the links are going to be in the description down below. Now, the five maps that we have are going to be Cage, Cargo, Hook, Exclusion Zone, and Shoot House. Now, all of these really look really nice. Cargo is supposed to be, again, the shipment remake when it comes down to it. So that's going to be, again, very interesting. Now, for 6v6 and 10v10, you know, we have a Nia Attack, Crash, Dam, uh, Krovnik, Farmland, Gulag, Hospital, Layover, Lowline. I'm, I'm guessing that Layover is going to be probably, like, Terminal. Then we have Lumber, Moshevif, which is kind of like a Russian name, Mill Base, Oasis, Port, Prison, Ravine, Shipment, we have it for day and night, which is kind of awesome. Slums, which I want to kind of see how that will, you know, play in, you know, and everything. Stadium, Sub Base, Super, Yurkistan, Taurus, Transit, which is coming back, and that's absolutely awesome. TV Station, and wait for this, guys. Farida is coming back from, you know, Modern Warfare 2. We also got Rust, Takedown, and Borderline. At 6v6 and 10v10 maps. So that is going to be absolutely insane. And then also guys for Ground War we got Smetna Farms. And that's going to be really awesome. And then in terms of things we're going to have a couple of gun course maps and everything like that. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Are you guys just absolutely ready for the new DLC that's going to be coming out for Modern Warfare? Hopefully it's going to be in the next couple like weeks. You know, maybe towards Christmas and everything. I think that's definitely what's going to happen and everything like that. But with that being said, guys, my name is Tristan Taze. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand